seconds to go. Ah, he's uh, crushed that off. He tried to scoop that ball. Taifu didn't guess the success. This man has impressed. He hasn't played too many balls coming back after an injury. Oh, oh my goodness. Talk about luck. First ball. What kind of a shot was that? I am not so sure if that's the right approach. It's the very first delivery from Saif Adin. And he went for a mighty pull shot. It wasn't short enough for the pull shot. Seemed up hit the back of the bat and just eluded the keeper. Very, very lucky to have been, to not, not have been caught. And then starting in a very unusual manner after the fall of Narayan's wicket. You'd feel even there is not quite getting hold of that. So he's going to back himself, Tohit. That's how he plays. At times flirts with risk up front. But he's got to understand that this pitch is right up his alley. It's a good pitch where you can hit the ball through the line. It's not going to bounce a great deal. There's not going to be a massive sideways movement. Got to be just a little bit steady in the first couple of overs. And then he'll have his own. Absolutely. He's got to be a little patient. They've lost the wicket of Naran so early. Mohamed Saifuddin has been exemplary. 71 wickets in his career. But in this BPL, he's taken 14 wickets in just nine games. At an economy rate of 6.58. That is marvellous. He really bowls well. Does nip the ball about two. Deton Dash will have to be watchful. That's the movement I'm talking about. Beautifully bold. The right length, the right line, and a bit of a way. Look, look at the scene presentation. That was brilliant. The only thing was wrong with that, it didn't take the edge. A hint of swing as well. He has floated up in that good length spot, and there's nice shape away from right hander. Slip is in place, maybe in play as well. Oh, he just shuffles across and then sort of uh, conjures up a shot. Difficult to describe it, but doesn't matter because it's gone for four. Really good and cool and intelligent from Lytton Das to cut out on the angle because that last ball was a vicious one, outswinger. There you see him just covering the set of stars so that he can drill it down towards the onside. It really was a, a, a caress, not a full-blooded shot. Tells you how quick the outfield is. There's a man at mid-on, Obed McCoy, only have to move a couple of yards to his left. We had no chance. The outfield is lightning quick. He just waits, just... Uh... Opening the face there. They're talking about the outfields in Silet, in Chottogram, in Dhaka here. We've talked about different natures of pitches, but the outfields have been electric. They've been very, very good. Yeah, it is good. You need to have that balance. If the pitch is a difficult one, then you've got to allow a little bit of leeway in the outfield. So they've struck a good balance. Not any your bowler. Thousand runs for Tohid Ridoy. BPLs. It charges. Gets that ball. My goodness. He's looking rather ominous. Really gave that ball a clap. Gets some four runs. And uh, after two, it's 21 for one. And I guess it's a time for them to launch. Yeah, at the moment. No momentum in his batting. He's killing the momentum. At the moment, finding it very difficult to score run a ball. Mahidul uh, bringing a lot of pressure on his bat, on his partner Moin. Game change in field. Third man comes inside the circle. He's really struggling, Mahidul Ankon. Needs to figure out his role, why he's sent up at the order ahead of Moin Ali and Andre Russell as well. And this is intelligent captaincy once again from Tamim McBall. He realized Mahidul is struggling, so he introduced this struggling bowler to get his overs out of the way. 
Is looking to stay one step ahead of the opposition. The meme edged. Finally, a boundary for Mahidul. Yes, thick outside edge, but yes, he was looking to beat short third. So we need to give him a little bit of credit. This is what he was looking for. But because there was a little bit of bounce, it is a thickish outside edge. But they needed that boundary. Desperate for that boundary. Right. Can he get going? Can Maidul get going now? He's 16 of 20. Two is the call from Maidul. And he will get it quite comfortably. Yeah, you can see the intentions from Maidul now. He'll go after the bowlers. He's seen enough. The start against the Rangpur Riders, 39 of 29. What Camilla got to keep saying is that Fortune Barashal have gone for a few runs in the last five overs in various games. The most they've gone for is 84 against Chattagram Challengers. Now they certainly possess. He's gone. He is gone. That is brilliant. Oh, it was Maddy. What a piece of fielding in the previous over. He allowed the batters to score that to run. Director. But not we have an umpire's debut for run out at a striker end. Show me your first side on angle, please. Freeze the replay. Satisfied. Batsman oil outside when bails off. I am ready to make my decision at big screen. And the confirmation there, Bushundara T is out and the big wicket of Mohin Ali. Mehdi Hasan Miraj just got one stump to aim at. And he gets the big wicket of Mohin. Kumila Victorian, 79 for 5. Wicket stumbling for Kumila Victorians was a brilliant throw by Mehdias and Miraj from point. Oh, they have their tail up. Fortune Borisha, what a piece of fielding. Aimed at stump and a half and found the target. Still no Andre Russell. Jakir Alioni, watchfully defended. Six runs and a wicket from the over. There's a uh, certain Dre Russ is waiting in the wings. Go! That's the way! Strikes it well and over the top. Brilliant shot. Six of the best. That's exactly what they want. Because Mahidrali is struggling. He tried it at six. He was 31 from 32 deliveries, which isn't good enough at this stage. But that one was right in the hitting arc. It was a rank half volley and was put away quite convincingly for six. Yeah, the first ball has gone for the six and they need to make sure this is, turns out to be a really big over for them. It's now or never. They slapped that away. There is a feel uh, it's going to go straight to him. Yeah. 38 from 34 balls at this stage of the game isn't good enough. Just barely over 100 strike rate. Xhaka is struggling. 13 from 15. And I reckon that Andre Russell coming in at number 8 is way too low for a player of his caliber. 11 runs have been the biggest over so far, which was a sixth over. They've got to make sure this one is a bigger one. So far, it's the highest partnership 
had to take that out. It's a good delivery. Cricket can be such a great leveler. Saifuddin bowled so well in the previous innings. He's got a cluster of wickets. And today, he's the only bowler who suffered. For 35. It's the final. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Arthur Ali Khan? Seems like you want to fight. I want to see them put up a fight. Nothing wrong with me, sir. But what, do you, but what do you think they are doing? Give the bowler some credit. I did that, sir. I absolutely did that. Just a couple of deliveries earlier. They're really good from Tami McBal and company. Very good. Not, I'm not taking any credit whatsoever away from the bowlers. Yeah, but seriously, Andre Wasa cannot be batting at number eight. That's absolutely madness. 100% agree with you, sir. That's the reason why I want them to play shots. Nine runs already, three balls to go. Ah, oh, he's uh, crushed that off. He tried to scoop that ball. Saifu didn't guess the success. Tried to be cheeky, but I can understand that. No use hanging about. Tried to scoop it, got the bit of that on, and uh, it uh, costled him. That's a poor attempt of a stroke. At this type of the time of the innings, those, those little fancy strokes are out of the question. You got to go hard and try to go big. My dog is the man Con is going for 38 from 35 deliveries. Not a very good innings. Coming the Victorians, struggling, tottering at 115 for six. We're all talking about the arrival of this man, Andre Russell. He can change the game around in quite a, just a few deliveries. He's in the middle because of this, trying to be cheeky, trying to scoop. I do just got enough bat to deflect it. The ricochet taking it and uh, getting the stumps. Yeah, there must be a sigh of relief uh, for the Kumila Vikurans fans because they wanted to see him on strike. He's there. Straight away, short ball greets him. Remember, he smashed that 43 in just 12 deliveries, an unbeaten 43 of 12 deliveries versus the Rongpur in Chattogram. Will he be able to repeat that? He needs to if uh, he wants to see Kumila Victorians make a match out of this. Fortune Borishal have been very fortunate. They've been brilliant in the field, excellent with the bowling. But these last couple of overs can change the match on its head if he fires up. Yeah, he's got a strike rate of 169, almost 170. He's got to replicate that, but he's off strike now. Wants to get as much of the strike as possible for the Camilla Victorians to pose an imposing total. Full toss, once again, not getting hold of it. It's going to be very interesting. A single to finish the over. Jaka will be on strike, 117 for six. D8 meters, these are the three sixes. Hit away, over the covers, swung around, back to the square. And then, the one really got everyone's eyes. Watch out, top tier. Final over. What is going to happen? Jairus is on strike. He's in destructive mood. 26 from air deliveries. What is going to happen? Saifuddin is in the attack. Oh, down the leg side. That's stopped by Mushrika Rahim. Really had to dive. He have hurt himself in the process. 26 of just eight deliveries. Excellent bit of wicket keeping behind the stumps. I thought that would have gone for another boundary. Definitely saving the boundary there from uh, Mushrika Rahim. as well that is the ideal delivery to bowl in situation like this the toe crusher that's exactly the point i was made i was making over before a yorker is always a good option as long 
as the execution is good. No ball called. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is going on here? Giving Jay was a free hit after a perfectly placed delivery. Well, there's the confirmation. Just putting in a little bit of an extra effort in the process. Overstepping. It's a free hit. He does well. Give credit to Saifuddin, that's for sure. He's been very impressive, Mohamed Saifuddin. He's had a long layoff due to the injury. But the moment he stepped in this season, he's been brilliant with the ball. Excellent with the ball. He's been picking up wickets, regular intervals, and he hardly gives anything away when he bowls at the death. That is an extremely good delivery under the circumstances. Under pressure, but it produced a beauty. And has got 26 of 10. Is at the other end. Yo, down the leg side, Mushfika Rahim is having to do overtime, really throwing himself around. It's called a wide. Very, very well done by the wicked keeper. Again, diving down the leg side to prevent. That could have gone to the boundary. 150 on the board, and he's only bowled one legitimate delivery. He has to bowl five more. And he is more than capable of doing the damage with the bat in this over. Again, he's bowled one down the leg side. That's good. Getting on his head this time around. Mushfika Rahim doesn't completely stop it. He is giving Mushfika a tough time. He is not a happy man. He certainly isn't. The keeper is doing a wonderful job for his team. A couple of those deliveries could have sped away to the boundary. Pressure, that's what it is. Trying to keep out of the hitting arc. It is in the arc, but it just does not manage to get underneath that. Despite the wides, look at the dot balls too. Yeah, he refuses to take the single, and that's the right way to go about it because he knows it's important for him to be on strike. Everybody's standing up, hoping that he can uh, pick up a couple of boundaries in this over. It's uh, gonna be a very, very long over, and all of a sudden it's Mushfika Rahim, who's run up all the way to the bowler, to have a bit of a chat and just tell him maybe the kind of footwork that he's trying to make before the release of the delivery. Have to get it full and close to his pads. Take away his arms, J. Ross, into the pads. That was very well bowled. Very well bowled into the pads. Don't the back was queer. They refused the single. He's give, taking all the strike if possible, J. Ross. There have been four runs in this over, all from either no balls or whites. Nothing of the bat yet. Three more deliveries. These are the six distances for Russell, the ramp shots, the one over the extra, uh, cover region, the swivel, and then the one, the longest one, 98 meters over extra. Got to keep it into his pads and full, take away his arms. That's beautifully bowled once more. Eventually taking a single, J. Ross. Brilliant bowling from Saifuddin. You have to give him credit. He's under immense pressure against the dangerous Andre Russell. Very, very well bowled. We saw him refusing to take the single couple of times. This time he had no option. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from uh, Mohamed Saifuddin. Doesn't give him any room to free his arms. And it's in the block hole. Outstanding from the bowler. You could see that he was under pressure, bowling three down the leg side. But when he came back, even after the no ball, with the accuracy, it's been... Very, very impressive, um, Mohamed Saifuddin, with two balls to go. Smashes it past the bowler. Peeler coming around. Single is all they can muster. Well, there's one delivery left. Andre Russell is back on strike. They are 153 for six, come the Victorians. A six will get them to 159, which will be a decent total to try and defend. But well, Saifuddin has been excellent in this over. What is it going to be? 
Can Jehuas get a boundary to finish off the proceedings? Oh, once again, he spears it in. This is tremendous death over bowling by Mohamed Saifuddin. Giving away only the six runs. It's going to be a leg by to finish seven runs. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.